We're here today with Rob Graham, Chief Executive Officer of Scroll. Rob, thanks for your time. Thank you. Rob, are you able to give a brief background as to Scroll, the company? I'm an ex-teacher and principal and most recently worked um, in international schools, worked there for 20 years. And um, we knew when we formed Scroll that there were a lot of problems that needed to be solved in schools in particular, but in schools internationally. So what we did is we sat down and said, what are some of the key problems that international schools have and how can we use technology to solve some of them? Rob, can you give us a bit more detail as to the two products that makes up Scroll? So when I was a principal in international schools, one of the biggest problems we had was, was hiring teachers for, for schools. Uh, currently there's 8,000 international schools, 400,000 teachers, about a 20% turnover every year. So there's a, there's a demand for 80,000 teachers in international schools. It's a pretty big task to fill. So what we used to do is go to recruitment fairs around the world to try to pick up teachers and we'd also try to scroll through our emails when people would apply directly. It wasn't very efficient, it wasn't very effective and there wasn't really a, a consistent way of, doing, of combining the two. So we sat down and said, wouldn't it be great to come up with a, a, with a system, a technological system that can, that can hook into a school's website, that can deal with all the applications that come direct to a school and where it's easy to filter and rank and rate teachers. So that's exactly what our Scroll Connect system does. It hooks, it hooks into a school system, uh, has candidates filling out consistent information, we get a confidential referee information, and um, schools are really, really quickly able to, to make some good decisions about who they hire. In addition to that, in our, in our first year of operations, we realised we had thousands of, of candidates in, for, for each school and felt that other schools could use those candidates as well. So we opened up the market to, to schools and say, would you like to see some other candidates? And so now currently we have 33,000 candidates in our database and this year 9,000 active candidates looking for a job. And how long has the scroll business been operating? Uh, we started in July 2013 and had a beta version working for the first year. Um, have really only been in, in market for just about just over a year. Are you surprised by the growth and the rapid growth of the business in recent times? The, um, the growth has been really staggering. I mean, we, we, we currently have just under 70 schools who are using it. We haven't, haven't been very sophisticated about marketing, which is one of the things that we, are, we really want to do now. The growth of the candidates is, is amazing. Um, I, I had previously worked for another recruiting company and, and, and they had those sort of numbers after 20 years. So for, for us, it, it is, we've, been, we've been able to hit some real pain points and, and come up with a, with, a, with a system that really works for schools. And what is the size of your market? So, we, well, if we look at currently there are 8,000 international schools. In the next 10 years, we know the market's going to double. There'll be 16,000 international schools. Uh, there's a $32 billion fee income currently, so doubling to $64 billion. So if there's going to be 16,000 schools, there's another 400,000 teachers who are just going to be needed in the next 10 years. So we know the market is huge and, and untapped. We have um, competitors in the, in, in, the, in the area, but they probably pay between two and 3,000 teachers a year. So even on, even on the, the lowest numbers of 40,000 teachers to 80,000 teachers, the people aren't, aren't just filling that pool. So we know there's massive opportunities for, for our system. And in addition, we have other pro products as well, include in terms of training and, and within professional development in schools, there's, there's a real big gap because it's very hard for, for international schools to access professional development and training. And does your primary product have application outside of the international school environment? We have felt absolutely yes to that, but we wanted to really take our experience and background as in international schools, wanted to capture that market. It's a, it's, a, it's a new and growing market. People don't know a lot about international schools, and so we wanted to be, we felt like that was where we wanted to be, but, but absolutely it fits into private schools in Australia or around the world. There is no real product like, that, like, like this internationally for schools designed specifically for schools. And when did you have that aha moment that you'd actually developed something that was unique in the global marketplace? Uh, sitting down with my colleagues who are also my partners, we sat down and said, so what is it that we can do differently? There's, always, there's all these companies out there that do recruiting. They're recruiting companies and they have a database, but we don't want to be the same. So what is it that's different? And with the aha moment was when we realised how many applications schools got a year directly from teachers and that nobody looked at. So when I was a principal, I would get hundreds and I would just ignore them because it was just, I had too many things to do and, and I realised that I wasn't actually capturing some good teachers because I didn't have the time. So 
when we sat down and said, wouldn't it be great to, to be able to catch all this information? And we realised, well, there's nothing there that does it because no schools are using it. Lots of schools were using Google Docs or Excel spreadsheets, but nothing really sophisticated. So then when we went, ah, oh, OK, let's have a look. What else is out there? And there are certainly products that are, that are there for other industries, but nothing, again, specifically for schools. So the, the best thing for us is that we're all teachers and ex-principals, so we know exactly what schools need. So having sat in that chair, we said, we know what is the information you need, and, and we know that the, the types of information, and we also know they need to get that information quickly. And that also has some hooks in terms of doing a mass decline, rapid decline, and um, sending emails out to, to, to other to, to teachers, to unsuccessful candidate, candidates, hiring notifications, there's messaging uh, systems within the, for the school. So it has a lot of different things that nobody else has even thought about. In terms of scroll cover, can you give some details of how it operates in the educational environment, but how it may also have application outside of education? Okay, so one of the um, worst jobs I ever did as a principal was uh, having, to, having to get phone calls at 6.30 in the morning and, and having to deal with teachers who are sick. Um, a, a school in a classroom is not something that you can just leave the kids by themselves, and so you need to have, you need to have a te teacher in the classroom. And you don't really want a babysitter because a babysitter does nothing for, for the children. And, and the worst story you ever get is that when the kids come the next day and say, I had a great day, we watch videos all day. So um, trying to find the right teacher for the right classroom is a, is a really difficult task. And it would often occupy me for two hours. I'd be calling people, sending SMS messages, sometimes waiting for people to call me back. And, and often at the time when people, two people would accept the job at the same time because someone were, or turned up at the same time because they assumed they were the only person who had been called. So we thought there had to be a better way to do this. And again, looked out, out again, and there are companies who are using SMS systems, which is just like the, the hairdresser type SMS, but no one was doing smartphone technology. So uh, we embarked on that whole process, and, and a year and a half later, with, and, and a number of iterations later, we now have a product which is working really well for schools. Uh, very, 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 we caught fast fill because most of our jobs are filled within three minutes. Our best, our best time was one minute for, for a fill, which is faster than you can even pick up a phone. But when we started to think about it, we realised that it, it's not just a school-based problem. Anywhere where you need someone to be there, a nurse or even in a bar, where you need someone to, 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 to be tending the bar, there are applications everywhere. So, so we're in the process of white labelling our product for other industries, hospitality, healthcare. We have a number of partners, national partners, who are working with us to, to develop this, this product. So that's currently under development and should be ready by July of this year. In terms of getting into the listed company environment, what options are you evaluating? So we're looking at a number of options. There's the, the RTO option and, and the IPO option. We really believe that, it, we, that, that um, we need to be listed in terms of, 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 sort of our, our growth goals. We need to, to raise the money to, to grow quickly. Um, in technology, you, the, it's, really, it's, it's really about being first to market. So what we're looking for is, is, the, is the best vehicle that will get us to the market that, that suits us, that, that suits us our needs, uh, probably tending towards an RTO at the moment. How does the scroll business make money? That's a really interesting question. Uh, when, when we developed our technology product, we actually sold it straight away to schools. Even our trial schools paid for it straight away. Uh, we didn't have the concept of, of give something for free. So we, it's, a, it's a transaction straight away. So, so we have a number of different pricing options. Some, some of our pricing is, is just a renewable subscription where they get all the services. Some schools don't like that. They like to do a try before you buy um, type, type system. So then we'll charge a lower subscription and a, f a placement fee. But what we're also finding is that, that schools actually want us to do the recruitment for them. So that's another model we'll use as well as we use our own, our own candidate pool and, and, and find the right teachers for schools. So we monetize for, through, through that. With cover, it's, a, it's again, with schools, they tend to like a subscription model, but we think it's a fee for, for per, per transaction. And the companies we're talking to agree that they would pay for a fee. If they can get someone in front of, in front of their, their clients, that's worth a, a clip of the ticket. And it won't be very high. It's going to be a volume game. But 3 to $4 a, a, a job being filled is what we're thinking about.